fine color, I'll be lightening my hair using a Feria Extreme Platinum Lightening System. Here is the color of my hair before. It is dry and unwashed. The color of my hair at the start of this process is basically a smoky steel gray. After applying the lightener today, I'm going to give my hair a chance to kind of rest a little bit in between applying the lightener and the coloring treatment. Here's what my hair looks like after lightening it with that extreme platinum feria color. It said on the box not to leave the product on more than 60 minutes. So this is essentially after an hour of lightening. You can see that the end ends of my hair that have previously been highlighted definitely got to more of that platinum tone, whereas my roots are still closer to almost a little like brassy orange blonde. I was going to just use this Feria Tropical Teal shade, but I have since decided that I'm going to try and add a little bit of a blue color to this as well. I'll be applying this to the roots of my hair and then for the ends, I'm going to use this Midnight Indigo Splat Tone. Now, this Splat Rebellious color, the Midnight Indigo, is actually designed for brown hair, but it does show on the package that you can expect it to be kind of closer to a bright blue if you're starting this on top of blonde hair. In this case, I'm actually not looking for the colors that are represented on the boxes. I'm hoping that I get something that's quite a bit more vibrant, so we'll just see. First up is going to be this Fairy and the Tropical color, the Tropical Teal. On the box of this Tropical Teal shade, it doesn't actually show you what you can expect in terms of color when you apply this on top of platinum hair, so this is truly an experiment. The instructions say to leave this Feria color on for a total of 25 minutes. Because I want the color to be lighter than what the box shows, I'm going to go for 10 to 15 minutes max. I'll be adding the conditioning color gel and the shimmer serum to this bottle of Developer. I'm applying this mixture to dry, unwashed hair, and I'm going to try to focus on the roots. color to my roots, I'm going to go ahead and open up this black color and apply that to my ends. The instructions say to leave this color on for 45 minutes to an hour. I'm definitely not doing that, so this color will end up being on probably about 10 minutes. This color is not nearly as thick as that Feria. Wow. I will not need very much of this. since I started this coloring process. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out the color now. I'll be doing that outside with cold water just because I'm not really sure if these are products that would stain, so it's not worth the risk to me. I'll just rinse it out outside and then I'll be applying the conditioner that came with one of these boxes. on for a total of 10 minutes. I think that you can see that it's green in the roots and then it is bright blue at the ends. This is exactly the look that I was hoping for. So it's not 100% dry, so it might be a little bit more vibrant when it's 100% ready, but I just couldn't wait to show you guys. I love this. It looks so good. What do you think, babe? Yeah. I love you. I will be trimming up the side shave area with some help from Erin, but I might wait a day to do that. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. It is. Wait, you have to stop it right there, right now. Look. Yeah? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. It is everything that I 
was hoping for. So if you are looking for a way to create uh, an aqua ombre or a teal ombre mixing products on your own, these two options are fantastic. I, um, I love your hair. You do? It is very pretty. Thank you, baby. It's Marcus approved. I see. I think everybody that's watching will love your hair. You think so? Yeah. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, this looks so good.